I'm taking the best care I can of myself. And also, I'm a total fucking catch. <laughs>、Travis. I'm 29 years old. I've been HIV positive for two Halloweens and I live in Toronto, Ontario. Are you clean? This one I'd probably just move right along from. I, I feel like people should, should know that at minimum. You probably shouldn't ask if someone's clean. They blocked. How did you get infected? First of all, that's no one's business. Second of all, Infected? Interesting choice of words. I probably, like most people, don't know when or how they got infected, and it's none of your business because it doesn't really matter. Oh, you're positive. Do you think I have any risks? No, I am on two medications and I take them every single day. So, no, I'm undetectable and you have no risk. And I get tested for everything else much more frequently than your other bay, so. STIs often don't have symptoms, so it's important to know whether you have them or not and to get treated when you do. Sorry, I really don't want to get AIDS. Neither do I. I have HIV, they're different things. First, get educated on that. Second thing, you won't get it from me, boo, because I'm on effective medication, which means I'm undetectable, which means I'm untransmittable. Oh, I'm not on prep, I'm not a slut.、Uh, you probably are. <laughs> And even if you aren't, it's best to protect yourself. The whole way that people end up usually getting HIV is through not knowing and not protecting themselves as, as well as they could. I can't stress this enough, but most HIV transmission happens to people who don't know their status, not people that have tested positive. So get tested and know your status. PrEP is an effective way of preventing HIV transmission. And to be on PrEP, you have to get tested regularly. If you aren't on PrEP but are interested, go to ontarioprep.ca. Have I experienced any stigma while getting treatment support or care? I'm really lucky that I got into the doctor's office that I did that specializes in HIV. So when I'm working with the people that I'm used to working with, I haven't really experienced much. I've been actually very well supported. When I get treatment for other things sometimes, like say I go to the hospital or I go to a different pharmacy,、uh, then there's definitely been times where I've received a lot of stigma or just lack of knowledge. So I have to be my own、uh, best health advocate all of a sudden. What's the best way to ask someone about their status? Let me think about that one. I'd probably say casually. I don't think you really need to make like a big fuss out of it. I would say just come at it from a place of non judgment. It's not the most important thing in the world, and most people that know that they're HIV positive are prepared to talk about it. So just be kind. Why is it important to talk about your status and sexual health to other people? I know that the only reason why I've received as good of help as I have both mentally and physically is because of the people that were open about their status. You don't owe anyone your honesty to, to be open about it, but because I've had such a good experience、uh, navigating the healthcare system to deal with my HIV, I feel like I would like to give that back to people that don't have the same opportunity. Someone who's recently positive or becomes positive has to deal with. All kinds of stigma the stigma that they feel about themselves, the stigma that they're expecting to hear from other people, and the stigma that actually happens because unfortunately it does. When I first found out I was positive, I was just like, this is my fault.、Uh, I am dirty. I have more responsibility to take care of everyone else's health now because I'm, I'm the, the, the problem or the sick one. In those moments, I remind myself that I'm taking the best care I can of myself, that I probably wouldn't think that anyone else in the world deserves this no matter what. So, why am I holding myself to that standard? And also, I'm a total fucking catch. <laughs> And then there's the shit that you expect you're gonna hear from other people. When I first found out I was positive, I was with a partner, so I had to like, deal with that, which is its own issue. But as soon as I became single again, I had to, to think about, like, oh, what are they gonna say? Now I have to disclose, like, I, have to, like, I can't just assume they know. It's not my partner. I was just waiting to hear you know, the most awful,、uh, uneducated things from people online. But then I'd log on and remind myself that I'm a total prize. And then there's the shit that people say. Usually I take that as an opportunity to educate if I'm in a good mood, if I'm really willing to go in and teach someone who needs to hear it so that they don't spread 
their lack of knowledge to everyone else. A lot of times it's feelings based and you know, I never try to take away from someone's feelings of being safe. I just try to provide them with the links and the knowledge based on decades of research. And if that doesn't work, then I'm just moving on because there's no way you're catching this D. To do your part and dive deeper into the stigma on HIV, go to positiveeffect.org. Things that empower me as a pause guy. Probably all of the people that live with HIV and that are open about it, like Jonathan Van Ness. Taking care of my health on another level, that makes me feel super confident. Things that make me feel better when I'm feeling sad. I mean, my mom, she was like, we're gonna get you on the Cadillac of drugs and we're gonna like really make sure you're taken care of. So she always kind of boosts my confidence. And for like self-care, I mean, I love a sheet mask. <sighs> The people that have made me feel most supported as a PAWS person have been my PAWS sisters. I mean, I was lucky enough to know people that were open about their status and they've really raised me up through this. So what's the bottom line here? Love yourself, take care of yourself, get educated, and be kind to others. Most communities in Ontario have local HIV AIDS service organizations. They can help you with testing, prep, treatment and support. For mental health support, we all need it. Check out goodhead.ca. Who doesn't want some good head? For more information on sexual health, check out thesexyouwant.ca by the Gay Men's Sexual Health Alliance. All right, I'm brave enough to accept that. <laughs> on to the next. <laughs>